Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is uh, Jobbly5 coming back to do the review of the Samsung, uh, what I call it, the Chrono 7 Ultra. All right. Um, so again, it's got all the features that I want um, in a notebook. Might not have all the features that you want, but you know what? It lives up to my expectation. As you can see, it has a beautiful 1080p screen. Now the thing is, it's not IPS screen, not a PL screen, nothing like that. It's not gonna wow you um, whenever you look to the side and you're looking at it at an angle. It's not gonna be like, oh wow, I can see everything. No, um, but within this radius that I'll actually be in, um, it's actually a very, very nice looking laptop. I don't see any type of uh, issue that I'm gonna have with it. Uh, again, it's your to your liking what you like, but uh, you're watching this video because you're interested in this computer, hopefully, or maybe you just think that I'm pretty cool. Uh, that's probably not the case, but anyways, uh, going to the laptop itself, I, like I said, there is a backlit keyboard on this. Um, as you can probably see, the lights just came on. I'll go ahead and turn out the lights. It's not gonna look very pretty, uh, but there you go. So I turn out the lights. You can see that it is a backlit keyboard on it. It is adjustable, so FN, which I'm gonna change so I don't have to use that FN button anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and do plus uh, one setting. That's the highest, that's the medium, that's the low, that's lower, I guess, and that's off. Or that's auto, and that's off. All right, so let's do auto. There, it automatically adjusts to, I guess, the light inside, the ambient light inside the room. The screen does the same thing. As you can probably see, it's gonna Go back up in brightness like it just did here. For those that did not see, it's probably gonna go down. Okay, the keyboard came on, there it goes, it dimmed. So the screen dimmed, keyboard came on first. Keyboard went off, screen got brighter. It's pretty cool. Um, do I like that kind of stuff? No, because sometimes shadows mess it up and all that kind of stuff. I've never owned a Samsung PC. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know why, I guess they just always had the crappiest screens that I've seen on laptops, but whenever I saw this one, uh, it actually kind of looks like it has a matte finish to it. Now, yes, it is glossy. <laughs> Obviously, uh, touch screens are gonna be glossy, but it, it, it kind of gives me that, that um, feeling that there's like a matte finish or some kind of finish where it's like smudge proof or fingerprint proof. So it's got that kind of look to it. So again, it is 1080p touch screen. Um, you can touch it with 10 fingers. Um, I'm just showing you that it is multi-touch. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and pull that thing back out. There you go. Uh, I wanna go to the desktop first. I wanna go ahead and let you know that this trackpad is awesome. Love the trackpad. Uh, it feels very nice and very smooth to the touch. Uh, even if I got, I got kind of a little bit of oils on my fingers, this kinda doesn't really care. Um, for Windows 8, and the touchpad, obviously, you can go to the side, flick, you get the bar on the side, you flick over, I go back to my desktop where I'm gonna show you a few things. But I'm gonna flick again, oh yeah, I can't. So I'm gonna do that. Touch to the start, so I'm just showing you a lot of different things that are on this screen. So I'm gonna go back. This is what popped up <laughs> whenever I turn to the computer on. It says Samsung new Series 7 Kronos. Uh, showing that it's very fast, it is full HD, and there's a lot of battery life to be output on this. That better be true, dang it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. I just wanted to show you, there's no, there's nothing to it. I guess it's just like a little banner, login banner. Um, now, since you've already seen the keyboard and all this down here, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the screen. Uh, if I can do that very fluidly, probably not, but that's okay. You guys can bear with me on that, hopefully. Um, I had just pretty much logged in. I haven't done too much to the computer. Actually, I haven't done anything to the computer. I just wanted to show you something right quick. Um, here, let's do it like this. <laughs> um, actually, let's see. Is it going to refocus or no? Is it going to focus? No, it's not going to focus. Oh, that's terrible. But you can see... It has a Core i7-3635QM, 2.4 gigahertz uh, CPU. What does that mean? That means that this thing has, a, like I said, a full mobile processor, not an ultra-low voltage, not something that is 
uh, built into the motherboard that you can't that's soldered on that you can't remove or anything like that it has a removable uh, CPU would I want to remove it hell no don't really care about removing it but I just wanted to show you that that was in there uh, again I don't think I talked about the amount of RAM but it has eight eight gigabytes of RAM uh, 7.89 of that is usable why uh, possibly because it is being used by maybe the Intel 4000 HD 4000 that's in there um, uh, but anyways, and then 64-bit operating system um, and 10 touch uh, uh, multi multi touch screen. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's that. So let me go ahead and close that out. Bring this over here. Come on now, what's up? What's up with you? What you doing? Why are you doing weird stuff? What the hell? All right. Anyways, I don't know what happened with that, but. As you can see, I just wanted to show you guys also, whenever you have a 1080p screen, usually what uh, vendors do is they go ahead and put the screen to medium. Uh, what do I mean by that? Everything is kind of big sized. So the first thing I do whenever I get a 1080p screen, because I have pretty good eye vision, uh, vision from my eyes, luckily. Um, so I go ahead and put it back to 100% and I hit apply. I'm not gonna do that right now, but um, I just wanted to show you guys that just in case you're like, man, things, you know, this doesn't look like it's 1080p or while wow, um, I can't use the screen up as much as I thought I was going to be able to. Well, put it down to 100 percent and that should give you more screen real estate. Also, over here, you can see adjust brightness, adjust calibrate color. Anytime you get a new screen, anytime you get a new laptop with the um, screen, you actually want to calibrate the color of the screen. Why is that? Well, sometimes vendors send them out or OEM manufacturers send them out and um, have them a little brighter than what they actually need to be. So that actually brings down the contrast ratio. It brings down the, uh, just the way, it makes the screen look a little more uh, to your liking. So. You can do that kind of stuff, especially on a laptop where you don't have those settings that you do on a regular uh, PC monitor. So, um, and what I was trying to do, when I was showing you earlier, is it's not allowing me to, what, it's not allowing me to hold, there we go. All right, that's what I was trying to do earlier. Bring it, I need to pull it up. All right, I was make sure that actually worked because I'm like, what the hell's going on? All right, um, it comes with a few things, uh, a little bit of bloatware, um, I'm going to show you exactly what it comes with. Uh, no. This, uh, like I said, the keyboard looks kind of, uh, the keys don't look like they have too much travel. Well, really, they don't have too much travel, uh, but it's actually kind of comfortable to type on. Um, as you can see, it has a lot of, a lot of built-in things. Uh, Absolute reminder, I have no idea what the heck that is. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out a lot of this stuff. It's got a lot of Intel stuff on it. Um, it does have Bluetooth. Um, I don't think I mentioned that. I know I say uh, a lot, but basically it's got a lot of Bluetooth in it. <laughs> it doesn't have a lot of Bluetooth. It has a 4.0 uh, Bluetooth in it. Then it has Realtek's uh, drivers in it, but even though they're JBL speakers, so it's got the drivers for the JBL speakers as Realtek, and this, it looks really nice. Look how smooth it is, fluid. Do, 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 uh, Norton backup will be removed uh, because of the fact that Microsoft has its own proprietary built-in antivirus. So I'm gonna be using the built-in antivirus from Microsoft. And to go along with that, I'll have my malware bytes to scan every once in a while. So I should be okay. Comes with plants and zombies installed. Pretty cool. Uh, so that means that I'll be able to do this. Oh, no, I won't be able to do that. Go to the side, start, and see where plants and zombies is. There it is, plants and zombies. We can play it right quick. Let's see. Let's see how uh, plants and zombies plays, guys. And gals. Everybody. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, let's just, let's just play the trial. I guess we can only play the trial. Um, I told you I was gonna do a little review, so I figured why not just go ahead and play a little bit of a game on this right now. 
What what is going on? Why can it Oh. I guess because it's loading. Push. Start the adventure. Mwahaha, <laughs> speakers sound pretty good on this. Sorry, being corny. Pop Game, Pop Cap Games presents Plants vs. Zombies. This is the smallest little screen. Yeah, I guess that's all you get. It's the only real estate that you get. You must have to buy the full version. It does look pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to play it. It doesn't look as cool as I thought it was going to look. Oh, what the hell? Die, game, die. Sounds like there's something in my roof. Anyways, uh, huh. it's got a HD camera, 720p camera on it. It does not have a rear-facing camera. Why the heck would you want that? But it does have a nice little microphone. See that above it? It's like uh, very shiny. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Zoom in on that. Yeah, it's above it. It's very shiny here. Let's see if my tracks my finger. No, it's not tracking it. Anyways, above that is a little shiny grill um, that shows exactly where the heck the speaker is for this beast. See in the background? Look at that. That right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. That is a steamer. Huh. Anyways, I, not that, I am going to be reinstalling the operating system on either this, or if I open it up and I find an MSATA slot, I'm gonna install the operating system on the MSATA slot, and then I'm going to use this for my games. Um, or maybe backup, I'm not sure. How about this? You guys tell me, should I keep the terabyte in there and waste a little more power than what this would waste? Um, if there is an MSATA slot, put an MSATA in there of 120, put this one in there as the, the official drive, or should I leave the one, one terabyte drive, which is how much uh, memory is already up in there, or how much uh, storage is already up inside this system, and not put this in there at all, uh, if there's an MSATA slot. Uh, I'm going to be using the A data, 32 gigabytes. Uh, USB 3.0, you can see blue means super speed. <clears throat> Bobby using this, it has the operating system on it um, that I need to install. Now the thing is, just keep in mind, if you guys are gonna be installing uh, a new version of the operating system, like on this one I have Pro, and built into the U, EU, uh, U, uh, UEFI BIOS, it actually stores the key that comes from the manufacturer for this computer. So even if you were to do a fresh install and everything looks fine and dandy, the BIOS is going to load the actual key onto your new install of Windows 8. So if you had Pro, like you think that this is going to be Pro whenever you get done installing it, it's not. You actually have to install the new features. Um, I mean, obviously, you could probably do a BIOS flash, but make it even easier. You go to here. Let's so let's show you right quick. No, not that. System down, enter, and we go to system right quick. And you can say get more features with a new edition of Windows. You cannot see that. That's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click this so you can see what I'm talking about. It says you can install new, uh, you could put in a new key. If so if you have Windows 8 Pro and you want to do it, you can just go ahead and already have a product key. You click already have a product key. You enter the new key in and it'll give you those features from Windows 8 Pro. So that would be what... Uh, if you adopted Windows 8 Pro early, you would get the free version of the uh, Microsoft, what is it, Windows Media Center edition. Like you would go ahead and get the Win Windows Media Center for free if you already have a code for that. So you can hook that up to this laptop and then you would also be able to log in remotely from a remote desktop into this computer. 
um, with a few other features. Probably not too much to write home about. But if you have Windows 8 Pro and you feel like you gotta be one of those people that have the best of the best, that's what you're gonna do. Um, again, wasting time talking right now. I just wanted to give you guys a little review of this computer. I'm gonna be doing um, some gaming on it. I'm gonna install Steam, get my games on it. First, I'm gonna go ahead and see whether or not you guys think I should go ahead and put the operating system on this 256 gigabytes S599 A data drive, or if I should just go ahead and um, or oh, I'm sorry, install it on the MSATA drive if there's one in there and then keep this in there or keep the one terabyte drive in there along with that MSATA drive. So guys, I'm up out of here. This is Job Willie 5 and I did completed a review of the Samsung Chrono 7, new Chrono 7 uh, Ultra. If you guys have any other requests for videos that you want me to put up, let me know. This is Job Willie 5 and I'm out of here.